So we're coming down the home stretch here. About another 40 minutes -ish to go yet here in our cash game session. Again, the main room is open here at North Austin. Again, some one, two, and a little bomb pot tables happening. So we've got John here with a three bet. And he's got Queens. Kirk could open up the raising. And Chaz has got aces. Are you kidding me? And he's just going to flat call it here. After. So we'll see what danger looms. We've got eight, seven suited, king, queen suited, aces, and queens, all of your favorites. Tangling up, and what a flop to smack here for Chris, who turns the open netter and a flush draw. Plus the two over pairs. And we could see piles and piles and piles of chips coming in the middle here soon. That is bet at 210. Chaz not going to raise here. As not for Chris, you got about 975 back. And. Choo choo! Here comes the all in train here for Chris. And even with Queens here, this is. You're probably fearing a set at this spot. You could be fearing a pair and a draw kind of spot, but. You three about 105. Great spot here by Chris to get his chips in the middle is depending on who he's tangled up with. Oh, he's going to get it in the middle, and Chaz is the one who technically has the best hand. So we've got a three-way all-in. Chaz has a chance uh, here for the side pot as well. It's only going to be a couple hundred dollars on top of that, but Chris gets it in here for 975. John pushes in his 1,200. And now we built a pot, quite a run out. Three way all in, TCH Live, 5-5 five, five action. Where are you at? Great to have you back here. And there's a straight. Chris has got a lock on this one and Chaz will win what's ever on the side, so poor John. Gets cooler here as ran queens right into aces. But unfortunately for Chaz, by flat calling there, it did give his opponents a chance to pick up or flop a better hand and just not able to fade all the odds that Chris was able to flop and then turn. So done so yet by the force of Zeus go ahead and smash that like button by any means necessary pulverize pulverize that like button All right, so we've got John Boy here with some queens. I got a three bet by Chaz. Jeremy has got a now scan King Jack off suit. Jeremy, semi fairly deep stack here, sitting about 2,400 back. He's got position on John. He's uh, gonna go ace, 10, five, all clubs. No player has a club.
eight here on the turn. As now makes two pair here for Chaz. John's behind, but not probably in the way that he would think. But no opponent has an ace. No opponent has a club in his hand. But it's Jeremy that's going to come out and raise here that may inadvertently push Chaz out of this pot. This is such a unique spot here because you're seeing the uh, initial preflop raise with Queens try to lead the turn. And Chaz in his mind here could think that he's up against like a Broadway draw with one single club. And now his hand gets counterfeit here as it's aces and eights. And he's gonna have a tough decision here on the end of Jeremy Barrels again as he re-raised the turn better after it was checked through on the flop. I mean, significant, signifying enough strength that uh, maybe he could he could very well sell Chaz in the store that he has a flush here. Maybe a set of fives, possibly. Chaz gonna have to try to see if maybe he picks up anything in just his body language. You should see Jeremy. Well, look at that, that breathing a little bit deeper there, a little heavier. Trying to get this bluff through here for 350. The Chaz sitting with about 5K back. And he's just going to go put in a raise. Atta boy, Chazzy. I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't know that he's actually raising with the best hand. 